for some more one piece today in the last two we've begun this water seven saga meeting aokiji a very intimidating uh admiral one that is right under the very tippity top of the government sengoku and uh, with powers that just uh, are absolutely absurd out of this world he froze an entire part of the sea kind of took on luffy kind of put luffy in his place and gave them some rather like worrying kind of like i guess foresight about nico robin saying that like her being with them like they're they're gonna reap what they sow eventually and he just left on his bike yeah yeah re refuses to elaborate leaves Chad. and then we ended the episode with uh our, our crew riding up onto a train track that is somehow in the middle of the sea who knows what's happening anymore and noted that we are actually headed to water seven in the play the city on the sea the the, the how on this i don't remember what aokiji called it but that's our next destination and of course that's the name of this arc that being said we're gonna hop into it. if you're new to the channel drop us up and hit that big boy bell let's get started with episode 229 of our one piece watch through turn mary turn dang that bad boy is hauling so it's not a train oh nice dang that barely didn't clip them then we unrolled mary's already in rough shape too dang that's a fancy looking train too did chopper just say a ship i guess it is absurd to see it makes sense no is this frog gonna take it on no poor frog what an odd place for a train so is i guess is the track just right under it, it maybe it is a ship maybe chopper was right no because they rode up i think on the track she's gonna see the pirate flag and flag and freak chimney oh my um this is quite the family business although wait, wait that was the food they were eating right Did they just give her some chimney that is not a cat Kokoro. Oh, she has a W7 on her. A steam ship? Oh. Wait, that's like a thing? Puffing Tom. Okay, yeah, a little below the surface. I guess that kind of makes sense. You just can barely not see it. That's kind of cool, actually. Reminds me of the, the train from Spirited Away. Something a little bit more practical. Yeah, poor frog. Why is this such a recurring thing with a frog? You know him? Yokozuna or headaches. Oh, wait, Aokiji said his name too. He's fighting the train? Yeah, for real. <laughs> what? What a nuisance though, low-key. Haiki. Uh, Water 7, I guess? Wait, all these places sound lovely. Oh, do you think they work for the government? Yeah, that was mentioned. She having flashbacks? What just happened? Yeah, I was gonna say they don't need the train. What there are seven? Are we close? Yeah, city of water. The so technology is number one in the world. World government's favorite ships. What? Wait, we're looking for a ship, right? Perfecto! Oh my gosh, how convenient! Hell yeah! Oh wow, thank you. Dang, dude, free labor. What a! Oh my gosh. MVP of the arc. You heard it here first. Will we see you there? Oh, dude, they're so nice. That's still not a cat. Hey, Kokoro and Chimney. Okay, I'll try to remember their names. Not remembering the cat's name. Gonna be honest. Watch out for the government people. Technology's number one in the world. Important and powerful people there. <laughs> Big guy like a mountain five meters tall. Yeah, it's gotta be someone that knows what they're doing. Instead of it being Usopp just randomly patching things together. He needs to focus on his craft of inventing. What is that map? This is like Luffy's. Oh my gosh, he drew who he wants. I like Robin just watching and just smiling. See, she's so fond of them now. I think she's a different person now. She's not, she's not trying to snake them or anything. Oh, they gotta be near land, right? They're seagulls? Well, seagulls fly all over the sea, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, Mary, need, Mary needs some, some upgrades. The floors creak, the ceiling leaks. Yeah, just spruce her up. A bronze statue. Oh shoot, that does look large. The next destination! Land ho! Do they care about pirates? I mean... 
Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's glorious. But the gates were like numbered. Whoa, it's just a giant fountain. That's sick. I guess the number one city of, for technology in the world would look really nice. There's seven. So there are like seven like exits for the water? Dude, it's awesome. It's beautiful. He's picturing it now. That was awesome to slide down. Yeah. Chopper would be swallowed by the waves. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is the five meter ship, right? He looks like a wizard, bro. I was gonna say, yeah, the front entrance, man. What a nice guy. Was he actually told them the wrong thing and just like screwing them over? I like all the architecture. It's so pretty. This looks like a sick vacation spot. Houses of submerged. Dude, does it ever flood? It was made for it. Dude, who built this? This is insane. Looks like a tourist spot. It's a blunder. Yeah, he's so polite about it. Wait, everybody here is a delight so far. What a lovely city. It's all place. Adventure waiting to be uncovered. Oh, Mary! Zoro! A little too strong. Has it gotten that rickety or have you been doing way too many push-ups? Yeah, they're just so casual about it. Yeah, more money. It's probably so much of their economy. The city is so developed, they have security and stuff like that. I wonder what the police force of Water 7 is like in comparison to the White Berets. Surely they can't size up. Yeah, they do have a reference letter. Hokuro, I'm looking for Iceberg. Ooh, we gotta go shopping, baby. Wait, you gotta carry it all. Doesn't mean like cash it in, like straight up just get money for everything, get everything appraised. Zora's just holding up the mast. Just go, chopper. Oh. Oh, my heart. Because you're carrying around so much gold, yeah. Although maybe it's safe enough here that they won't get robbed. We're the thieves. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, she just wants to hold that much money. <laughs> Until bull shop? Does it say bill shop? No, it does say bull shop. Rental bull shop? No, surely a, it's not like the bull animal. Please let us rent bulls. You don't know what it is. He's just saying a number. Oh, he's saying there's three of them. Okay. Two Yagawas? He's just assuming it's food. My God. Oh, they're boats? <laughs> Oh, it's like how you get around town. Oh, that's cool. More canals and walkways. That's kind of cool. The like canals, yeah. So you just rent them while you're here. And that's gotta be kind of expensive, low key. Oh, they're so cute. 2,000 berries ain't bad either. Bro, why they stay smiling like that? <laughs> I can't tell if they're cute or like a tiny bit creepy too. Oh no, he's gonna drop the gold into it. A lot of gold. You're funny, he thinks he's joking. Nah, we got this from the sky. But he's just flexing a ton of money. Oh no! He knows they're rich now! Shameless, Mr. Renter. Oh, dang. Downtown area. Well, downtown. Downtown. An actual map? Oh, thank goodness. Some upgrades for Mary? New crew member, potentially? 
One of exciting things on the horizon. Can we add like a machine gun to Mary? Like a Gatling gun? That'd be sick. Um, what else? I think we should give Sanji like a full-fledged like restaurant area. Better beds, maybe. All right, and so we've made it to Water 7. An absolutely gorgeous city, might I add. Stunning design. Like, I would live here, bro. Probably my favorite, like, I just guess just like island design in the show thus far. And it seems like very cozy too, like comfortable. The thing is like they, they said they made it a point to be like, I think Sanji said like oh it's not that exciting because there's they're like not even scared of pirates but i feel like that's even more exciting that there could be like a lot more underlying things going on especially because this is the start of just an overarching story